Do you really believe you're a primate? Talking primate? Yeah, I do. So we actually have a 99% um, DNA with, shared with them. How closely related we are to primates. It, In what way? Physical features. Do you think man has a common ancestor with primates? Yeah, for sure. Do you believe in evolution? Yes. In the beginning, God made them male and female. That kills evolution in one sentence. Yeah, I think there's a lot of gray area there, like I said. There's the gray area. In the beginning, he made them male and female. That's Adam and Eve. It's not a couple of primates. Look, fill me in here. Help me out. How did the heart evolve, and why did the heart evolve when there was no blood? Why did the blood evolve? Why did the veins evolve to carry the blood when there was no blood? Evolution has gray areas. It's just, it's actually crazy. Tell me, what was in the beginning according to evolution? The Big Bang. Okay, every Big Bang I know of creates chaos, not order. You've got the seasons coming around every year. You've got fruit trees bringing forth fruits. You've got dogs having dogs, cats having cats, horses having horses. Nothing changes kinds. To think that an eye made itself? Why do we have two eyes? How did man see before his eye evolved and take millions of years for eyes to evolve? How did he find food and a wife? if he didn't have eyes that were evolved, because they only work when they're fully formed. Now, Hugh, at the moment, you're like a man on the edge of a plane, 10,000 feet up, he knows he has to jump, and this is his plan. He's gonna flap his arms. He's gonna try and save himself. And I'd say to that man, don't do that. Trust the parachute. So don't trust in your goodness to save you on judgment day. It's not gonna work. You're like the rest of us. You've got a multitude of sins. So simply transfer your trust from yourself to the Savior. And the minute you do that, you have the promise from God that he'll forgive every sin you've ever committed once and for all and grant you everlasting life as a free gift. And the Bible says it's impossible for God to lie because he's without sin. You can trust him to do that. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He that believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. There's dozens of promises saying the same thing. Repent, trust in the Savior, and God will remit your sins, grant you everlasting life as a free gift. And I just wanted to say that, like, it really had me, like, thinking about what I should do like now into the future. To put your faith in Jesus, is that what you're saying? Yes. When are you going to get right with God? As soon as possible. Really? Yes. May I pray with you? Yes. Just repent and trust in Jesus. When are you going to do that? Now. Now? Would you be embarrassed if I pray for you? No. Is this making sense? Absolutely, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. So when are you going to repent and trust in Christ alone? Right away. Right away? Yeah, I think it, you bring up a lot of good points. May I pray with you? Absolutely.